Well, that was the most adorable thing I've done all day. Yes. Yes. So, um, I was looking around on the internet and trying to find, like, a, an 80s tag and things like that, and, you know, looking on YouTube and stuff, stuff, and I found some, but they all really fucking suck. So, I am going to start my own tag, on Kai. So, um, I've just got a series of questions that are a bit general, but considering that I was not, I did not grow up in the 80s, I thought I'd make a tag for people who have an appreciation for the era, but cannot possibly say things from experiential perspective, if you understand what I mean. So, let's do that, huh? Yeah, okay, sweet. So, um, my very first question is, what is your favourite 80s movie? So, the um, 80s movie that I particularly love is, 80, well, 86 was actually a great year for film, because um, Labyrinth was released. Labyrinth with David Bowie, and I know it's super cheesy and in many ways horrible because of all the obscene crutch shots and everything, but I just fucking love it. And I, I just love his voice. Turn back, Sarah. Turn back before it's too late. Um, the next one I really love. I know I mean only one, but I can't leave this one out because you guys know how much I love this movie. Aliens, another one in 86 with Sigourney Weaver. Freaking fantastic movie. Um, okay, so favourite... My next question is, what is your favourite 80s TV show slash cartoon? Now, um, this is something that I thought would be relevant because a lot of um, people who grew up in the 90s, like myself, um, watched a lot of 80s, 80s cartoons and things because they were still showing reruns and things and, you know, they were all new to us. So we're like, woo, okay, so, you know, we didn't know whatever. So, um, two that I was actually thinking of. My first one, I first first thing I thought to mind was a TV show called Trans or Zoo. And it was so awesome. It was it was like this rip-off of like it was kind of like what was that show called? Voltron. It was a rip-off of Voltron. Um, and it was incredible. And it was um, it was so I, I don't know, I just that was the first cartoon I've ever remembered watching. And it was like, yeah, it was like it was this sort of anime, sort of action, horrible thing, and it was a fantastic but Turns out that was actually um, aired and released in 74, so this doesn't count for this particular tag. So, I found another one that I did remember watching and freaking losing my shit. Me and my brother, we used to watch this um, when, we were, when we were younger and it was just a, the greatest show. We used to hire it from the video shop back when they had video shops, you know, with actual VHS. And, um, yeah, it's called Dino Sources. See if you... This, this particular theme rings a bell. We used to be four ordinary teenagers. Until one day, we met some new friends from out of town. Basically, it was a show about dinosaurs. They were called Dinosaurs. They were like walking My friends space and dinosaurs. Allies to these dinosaurs from out The dinosaurs are leaving, Bonsasaur! <laughs> It's such a bad show, but it, oh my god, it was so good. That was a fantastic show, um, so that is my favourite 80s cartoon. Um, so, next one I would say is, what is your favourite 80s artist? Now, this is one that I would say specifically had prominence in the 80s, um, not one who was necessarily born in the 80s, if you know what I mean. So, of course you guys know, if you've been watching Femme Ferocity, that one of my biggest influences is an artist called Klaus Nomi. So, um, I will pop him to just one side, and you know that he is one of my favourites, but also um, I would probably say Queen, even though they did have a lot of prominence in the 70s and maybe even in extending into the 90s in the post-humanist um, Queen releases. I just, oh, Freddie Mercury. Mm, God, I love that man. So, um, big, big influence on me as well, Freddie Mercury. So my next question is, what is your favourite 80s look? So my favourite 80s look would probably be, um, uh, they had big hair in the 80s. I love that. Like, they had big hair. Like, it was uh, spectacular. In fact, have a look at this photo of my mum. Like, she rocked the perm, man. She freaking rocked the perm. And, um, yeah, I think that was absolutely fantabulous. Another thing that I really love um, are neons. Of course, you know, as you would know, if you know me at all, neons and blacks and me are having a wonderful threesome right now. We just, mm, yeah, yeah, mm, that's good, yeah. I just adore those, those colours and that palette so much. And I think that was really prevalent in the 80s, especially when you look back at the 80s in terms of eye makeup, in terms of fashion, neons and things like that were really prevalent and it was just absolutely, just, they're just gorgeous. Freaking fuck, I love that. Um, also, uh, shoulder pads. Shoulder pads are a big thing I can, from, from some of the things I found in my mum's wardrobe. Um, shoulder pads, big deal. Love the shoulder pads. So the next question is, what is your favourite year from 1980 to 1989? Oh, 
duh, 88, because I, like that was like the year I was born. Does that mean I grew up in the 80s? Not necessarily, but, or well, maybe for a little while, but not really. Um, but, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty fantabulous year, if I don't say so myself. Um, also, I would probably say, um, 85. 85, because 85 was the year Live Aid occurred. And for those who aren't familiar with what Live Aid is, Live Aid is, was a music festival that was organised by Sir Bob Gildorf, and it was, um, this absolutely immense event. They were trying to raise money to, um, relieve the Ethiopian, um, famine. You know, they were trying to raise money to, to get food and, and things like that for them. And, um, you know, there were some massive, massive artists, um, um, including Queen, which is who I mentioned previously, and um, Queen, they, um, they, if you like, you, 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 everyone will have seen Queen perform at Live Aid at some stage, whether it be on YouTube, whether it be on TV, whether it be anywhere. Um, in you know, in that fashion, um, it's just oh my god, and it was just the most insane performance and the insane, this most insane event. I wish I was there to see it um, because it just looked like such a moving thing. What is my kitty doing? So I guess that's the end of this tag. So um, hopefully you liked it. Feel free to um, post a video response and do this tag yourself. Um, you know, that's just just do it, just do it, um, because that's fun and I like to see people, you know, interacting with me because that's the whole point of YouTube. Hey, um, so I guess I guess I'll talk to you all very soon. Yeah, I'll talk to you all very soon. All right, ta-ra. <laughs>